What is going on everybody? Today we found Newell Coach 1444. Today I'm hanging out in Mesa, Arizona out at Cassone's RV with Taylor. Taylor, how hey, you doing, how are sir? Yeah, I'm good. What's up, Andrews followers? Hey. Andrews, come out to help us out today. We have a 2012 Newell number 1444. Taylor, what's the story on this coach? Let's head inside and take a look at what we got. Sounds good. I really like the front entry way of this coach. There's a look at all that beautiful Newell coach tile work. These captain's chairs are in excellent condition, a real rich brown leather with the two-tone steering wheel, wood grain, all in excellent condition. This is a 2012, so it has that updated digital dash. Taylor, you found a nice coach, sir. So uh, I got a little lucky. The story on this is that it's a consignment here at our dealership at Cassone's RV. Um, basically, I got in contact with the owners. They're very, very busy people, um, and they own several businesses. Of course, a coach like this takes a lot of time to sell, as you know, Andrew, and it takes uh, the right person to uh, purchase something and, and find something that works perfect for them, and this is a great coach. Uh, the inside of this coach is definitely different from the outside. It's got a wood gloss finish. You can see throughout the whole entire uh, coach. Um, even the refrigerator, the freezer, coated in the gloss wood finish, you can see right there, which it, it looks immaculate. Yeah, and I've got to back up and just show everybody this floor plan and the size of this coach. It's got the opposing sofas with the leather all in excellent condition, and of course, those huge Newell windows. And we're going to show you all the basement bays in just a moment, but uh, what's what else is going on? What's some of the equipment on this coach? What's the drive terrain? What uh, what else is going on? Um, so this is a 650 Cummins. It's got four ACs. It's got a 20,000 watt generator, and it's got the two opposing couches up here in the front, which Andrew mentioned. It's a bath and a half. How many miles are on this coach? This this coach has got 90,040 miles. This does have the uh, steerable tag axle. The Allison 4000 transmission. This is an incredible machine going down the road, but the Newell, this is all about the living space. Yeah, so we got storage underneath this uh, booth dinette here. Um, we have kind of a little accessory that kind of came with the uh, coach underneath here just uh, kind of I would say a coffee table of sorts which actually also has storage inside of that oh, That's actually the signature blade ottoman. I believe they call it and yeah, yeah Yeah, so inside of this ottoman all lined with carpet You've got a piano hinge there those same high-end finishes that we see throughout the rest of the coach and all the little things Newell Coach does, like the outlets and USB ports coming out of the table and a beautiful solid surface there on the table. Uh, what else is going on with this coach, sir? We got a four uh, burner induction stove top here with uh, your controls right there in the front. You have a dishwasher right here. You can see every single drawer in this RV. I don't think one's the same. I think every single one um has got is is almost different it's a different size it's uh it's a different shape i mean just the craftsmanship of how every door was made to fit in a certain space in this coach um yeah it's incredible, is, is incredible. They, yeah the craftsmen at newell are really second to none uh now let's take a look at inside of some of this storage here and i want to point out it does have the brew express coffee maker and this is going to be the heating controls the electric heat i believe that's going to be for your heated floors owners actually mentioned to me that they had the coffee maker they couldn't tell you if it works because they never drank coffee they never used it so it's got that built-in coffee maker but it's never been used by them i love all the storage that newell has this is going to be your trash can receptacle you got your trash and recycle holders there's all your remotes all with the coach and you can see how clean it is on the inside of all of these drawers beautiful woodwork looks like the newell coach owner's manuals 1444. We have a refrigerator uh, with that gloss wood finish over top of it as well as the freezers right underneath that. 
So we have two actually. Uh, the first drawer is a freezer and your second drawer, also a freezer. Plenty of space. A lot of people just think it's storage. They're like, what is that? Where's the fridge? It's right here. It's uh, built into the RV and the wood finish kind of kind of hides that and they're, you know, wanting to know where's the fridge, but that's the fridge. Our first bathroom is right before the bedroom here. We have right behind the refrigerator across from the washer and the dryer, which we'll show you that here in a second. Yeah, and I, before we go back there, we even yeah. passed by all the storage here. Yeah. You know, Newell has so much storage. Look at Absolutely. how deep that is and how tall it is. And part of the reason Newell has so much interior storage is because of all the interior headrooms. So the bays aren't as tall as the Prevos, but you do have a lot more headroom in here. So you're also getting more height in your interior space. So that's a huge plus of the Newell coach as well. I don't know if you got a shot of the ceiling. Yeah. Um, but let's take a look at that ceiling. Absolutely. Um, it looks, uh, it's it's quite a design. I mean, and when you walk into the coach, it really flows all the way through straight from the front to the back. It doesn't stop at your first bathroom. Um, it goes all the way through, and I think it looks great. It doesn't have um, like just a mirror. It's got kind of a reflection. I, I guess you could call it a mirror, but it's like um, like a tinted uh, mirror with a little bit of flow to it. You can see right here, actually, the RV's on the lot across the way here. So we have a camera system all around the coach um, that when you're in it, you can see everybody outside of it, make sure that you're uh, safe and sound. Newell uh, does a great job with this. There's very few RVs that do it. Um, I mean, they have cameras, but backup cameras, side view cameras, not cameras while you're you're sitting and you can watch everything going on around your coach. Yeah, absolutely. Let's, there's a lot of other stuff on this panel as well. You can control your floor heat, your climate control, all of your water levels, your gen set, your auto fill, all that good stuff. Uh, you can dim your lights, a lot going on on this panel. Going back into the uh, the back of the coach here, and I want to go th take a look at this half bathroom here. You've got the tile flooring up the side of the wall. And check out these hinges that new old coach uses. These are so industrial grade and that same high-end woodwork that we saw in the kitchen. Beautiful uh, backsplash in the half bath as well. Newell Coach just finishes everything out. You've got all this high-end leather up the side of the wall and then another finish here. Plenty of mirrors here in your bathroom as well. Storage there. What's going on across from the half bathroom up here? Across from the ba half bathroom is where your washer and dryer are located. You can see that right there. There's a stack. And they're 2012 washer dryers, but they uh, they work work great. They um, look great, and I think they're in a really good area in the coach. I like how Newell Coach leaves you some extra room up here for your laundry detergents, and then check out these piano hinges. It just shows how high end the Newell Coaches are. The highlight of the Newell Coach is the size of this rear bedroom. Do you know if this is a king size bed or a queen? That's a queen size bed. Okay. And um, it does lift up, so obviously you have a little bit of room when the slide comes in to still get by the bed to that back bathroom. Some, obviously, as you know, Newell uh, has done that to make sure that, you know, with other coaches, sometimes if you have a bath and a half, you can't get back to the back bathroom. Huge windows here. You've got a TV on a televator, storage overhead here, but even with the overhead storage, the way they utilize it, it doesn't look like a production coach. You still have those huge windows and you have that higher ceiling. There's a look at that drop floor slide and you've got room between the foot of your bed and your TV area here. I'd like to point something out again with the, um, you know, the, the drawers back here, the space back here, and how every single one is different. Just like we saw in the kitchen space, there's a drawer hiding here with storage. There's one hiding right in these corners uh, next to the uh, TV here. Yeah. And then uh, by your bed, <clears throat> on each side, you do have uh, storage. So you can see you have um, some space right here on this side with a good storage bay a small little closet space on this side where they had space and although it's not super wide it does go back there yeah, you still have some hanging space yeah. there as well and another huge window behind your headboard and so much headroom above your bed as well with these taller newel slide outs but the rear bathroom in this coach 
That it just uh, keeps going. So the rear bathroom in this coach, um, this is a second, a two owner coach. So the people who uh, owned it currently, um, and it's on consignment here again, um, the people who own it, their main selling point was this back bathroom um, for this RV. And you'll see here in a minute, it was mainly the shower that did it for them. And do you know if this does have heated floors? This does have heated floors, and also you have a camera system around the coach. Google does a great job with this. It is a bigger coach, so you want to have access to being able to turn lights off, not only in this room, but you know, in the kitchen, in the living space, in the back bathroom. You have all your master shades, your master lights, all right by your bed there and in the front as well. Huge rear bathroom with that high-end tile work that we saw through the rest of the coach and they used that same tile work into the shower with a little uh, ledge there for a bench seat in the shower as well and this glass is all in really good condition. This is a nice floor plan. Yeah, we have storage right across from, um, not storage, basically your back main closet um, for your back bathroom here with the cedar inlay i believe it's called the uh, yeah. cedar inlay uh closet to help keep out that moisture and it goes through um <clears throat> here and i also have a closet in the back that has that as well yeah you've got outlets here in the closet drawer space as well and i've talked about this in previous videos with the, this little locking pin mechanism basically there's a little pin right here and this piece has a magnet in it so when it pulls in that magnet pulls that pin up and then when you press this down, it's gonna pull that pin down. Very robust system that Newell Coach has been using for a long time and really works well. I've gotta give everybody a close up on that sink back there. Yeah. I love the corner sink with a lot of countertop space. Here. And then a beautiful design on that sink there, the bowl sink. I love vessel sinks. I think it looks great back here. Accents the rest of the um, coach in the, in the gloss finish uh, wood as well. You have lots of counter space back here. You have a little area here and a nice large area over on the right hand side of the sink. And um, sometimes people when they walk back here, I will say they've gotten confused a couple times and I'll tell you why. We have a mirror on the bottom of the coach and people think that there's an extra um, space. We do have storage up here, but they almost think that like there's sometimes another um, toilet but this is the closet <laughs> space and you have that mirror on the floor. So you see a reflection and it reflects off of the floor. So you think it just cuts off there and it actually continues on. Um, another basically closet back here, his and hers closet. Yes, you just saw one uh, there and you have the cedar inlay yeah. here. Oh, lined with cedar. There's that extra leaf for the table as well. Yeah. And this shower is huge. So Taylor, what's going on in the uh, basement bays here? We got six. 12 volt batteries down there. Nice. Do you know the date codes on these batteries? Uh, I believe the date code, those are 2018. I think they're the Lifeline batteries. And this does have a power pull system, and yeah, it looks like the light. Lifeline ADs. And the guys at Newell talk about that power pull system helps maintain the battery level. So, right here we have your Aqua Hot system. Stainless steel look to the uh, front cover in it here, but. Yeah, this is the Aquahot 675D. There's a look, you can tell this bay's all clean back here. You got your fresh water fill up here, your dump controls, lighting controls out here. This I always like to show off because this will come out. And then Taylor, you want to be my cameraman for a yeah, second? Yeah, let's do so, it. So, and we do have the slide outs out right now. So we're showing you these bays with the slide outs out. But you can pull this off. Looks like the, they have the uh, safety flares in there. But if you need to work on that, you can just sit on this bench. I don't want to set this down because it's been raining, but you can just sit on this bench and slide in there. That same stainless face there on the slide out tray as well. The uh, two automatic slide out trays here um, that go the full way through. Of course, you push a button, they come on out. You also have your TV over here uh, right next to those that uh, is hiding behind here on, we'll pull a, that out. on a swing out. Super smooth. You can tell that new old build quality. And then does this swivel out as well? Yes, sure does. So if you're hanging out, everybody says, hey, where's the TV? Is it on the side of the coach? Uh, it's underneath the coach. And you have that, obviously that full length awning there to hang out here outside. So you still do have a TV just hiding there. You probably wouldn't notice it. 
Yeah, super stealth how Newell Coach designs these basement bays. And then the other side here, we're gonna have another full pass-through bay with a full slide-out tray with that same turned aluminum face we see on the front, the polished stainless frames around the bays. And these are the bi-folding basement doors from Newell Coach. Super industrial. Bay with the TV is gonna have another slide-out tray as well. And super clean inside of these bays. Newell Coach front end. This is a Porsche design coach. And then you've got the twin air compressors in this bay. And this just shows all the redundancy that Newell Coach builds in so that if one of them fails, you can always switch over and use the other one. And they do recommend switching back and forth so both of them do get exercised. Looks like 2017 date codes on the Michelin tires. And then here's the other side of those pass-through bays. And this is gonna be the cooling system for the generator. I've talked about that in some of the videos I've done at the Newell Coach factory. There's that plumbing bay with all that same polished stainless. And there's a look at that 200 gallon diesel fuel tank. 200 gallons will get you a lot of miles. And you'll be able to get there with plenty of power on this Cummins ISX 650. Uh, we did just have Richard come in. Richard is the owner of Cassone's RV. So want to introduce you to him hey richard how you doing sir good andrew how are you good thanks so what is your position here at uh, cassones so i'm the owner general manager of cassones rv small local fill-in dealership here we have a great staff sales and service we'd love to get somebody into this newel along with any of our other products we offer here what all do you guys do here at cassones so we have a full paint body and service shop alongside cells. Our specialties really include service. Uh, we replace a lot of roofs, rubber and fiberglass roofs here. And then our consignment process is an amazing consignment process. We give customers the best customer service they can get. We keep them up to date on how their coach is selling. And we really pride ourselves in getting our customers the most money for their unit. If someone is a serious buyer and they want to become the next owner of Dual Coach 1444, who should they get a hold of? So give Taylor or any of our sales staff a call. We'd be happy to set you up with an appointment so you can come tour the coach and um, we'll try to provide financing for the next prospective buyer if that's something they're looking for to get them into this beautiful coach. Do you guys take trade-ins? We do take trade-ins. Uh, to in, anything from trailers to newels. And how much do you need for this newel coach? Uh, we need 735,000 for Seven, this coach. 735, sounds good. Richard and Taylor, greatly appreciate you guys showing us around this beautiful newel coach. I, I greatly appreciate you guys. I also greatly appreciate all of you out there on YouTube subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Thank you, Andrew. We appreciate you too. Thanks for coming out, and uh, to all the Andrew Steele followers, thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you next time.